Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to Pitch Golf here in central London. Absolutely fantastic facility for golf lessons, for practice and for club fitting. I have been very lucky to get access to the facility today. And in this video, we're answering a question from one of my YouTube followers asking all about ball flight and how they can lower it with their irons to give them more consistency in strike and more distance. So welcome to your Friday. This is where you can get involved, help me produce the content for these videos. If you've got a topic you'd like me to cover, if you've got a question you'd like me to answer, or maybe it's just a swing fault you've got that you'd like me to help, me, help you with, let me know in the comments box down below and hopefully we can do a video for you. You can also get in touch with me via Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The details of those should be in the corner anytime about now. So today we're answering a question via YouTube from Guyver Max. And he was talking all about ball flight. So his message was, he felt like he struck his irons really, really solidly, but incredibly high. And he said, even with his short irons, he didn't take any turf after the golf ball. I thought this was a fantastic question to answer because this is going to be something which plagues many of you out there. No diverts, quite a shallow approach, really, really high ball flights. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna use GC2. We're just gonna look at the ball flight that I, I get from different delivery positions. So if we just go ahead and do this first one, and I'm just gonna do a, just a half golf swing here. Now, you can see from the screen, incredibly high. But the ball went relatively straight. So it was high and it was straight. And that's pretty much the ball flight that uh, we were talking about in that comment. You know, nicely struck, decent direction, but very, very high. So why was that the case? Why was that so high? but also pretty straight. Well, what I actually did on that golf swing was I got that golf club very, very open through the back swing and also through the down swing. So at this point here, I had the golf club pointing very much more up towards the sky. Now, once I was here in the down swing, I had almost a decision to make. I either tried to deliver the handle forwards, try and take, take that divot, that ball would have gone excessively off to the right, or I tried to make that ball go straight by releasing the club very, very early which presented a square club face to the ball, but a lot of loft. It also meant that I couldn't get any downward pressure on the golf ball. So I made the best of that situation. I released the club early, I presented a lot of loft, I got the ball going very, very high, but actually pretty straight. So we need to practice the opposite move to that. So this is what I would actually get you to do. I would get you to go backswing, and as you stop at the last parallel on the way down, let's get that club face excessively pointing down towards the ground. You can see that's incredibly different to what I demonstrated a moment ago. If I move this club down towards the ground, for me to hit this ball straight, I have to really feel like I deliver the handle excessively forwards relative to the club head. That's gonna keep the loft off the golf club, but it's also gonna help me hit that ball much straighter. So relative to that ball flight, we should see this one. Very, very different. Okay, and you can see there on the screen, an incredibly different ball flight, very, very low, but still very, very straight. So because I had two delivery positions in terms of the club face, there wasn't a lot else different. The club wasn't more in or more out. It was just the club face position that was different. That meant that I had to do different things at impact in order to make the ball go straight. We want to ball, the ball to go straight, obviously. So what I'm suspecting is happening in your goal swing is that your club face is open, because it's open, you tend to release the club early to make that ball go straight, which you do, you strike it well, but there's no divot, there's no distance because there's too much height. So effectively, you might be presenting, you know, maybe eight to 10 degrees more loft to the golf ball than I would be with the same iron. So my seven iron here, I'm looking to present, you know, much, much lower loft than what's stated on the golf club. You may well be presenting a loft that is much closer to the stated loft. So if you are hitting these high shots, no divot, very weak shots, let's check where you are. Last parallel with the club face, let's excessively twist it down as a rehearsal and see if we can hit the ball straight from there. To hit it straight, you're gonna to have to find your handle delivers more forward. The reality is that we actually want the club face somewhere between vertical and pointing slightly down. From here, that's gonna help me deliver the handle a good amount forwards and produce that good ball flight. So hopefully that helps. I do believe there's gonna be quite a few of you out there who do suffer with these high ball flights. Hopefully the information in this video is gonna help you next time you practice, bring that ball flight down. You're probably gonna gain some more distance as well. It's a great way to start improving how you play on the course. I have to say a massive thank you to the venue I'm at today. It's Pitch London, absolutely fantastic. You can see we've got all this technology around. We've got the GC2, we've got the swing cast. It's a fantastic facility right in the heart of London. I'll link the website down below, but if you are in the area, great practice facilities, great 
coaching facilities and also great fitting facilities as well. Pitch London must give it a check out if you're in the area. Thanks for watching. Usual stuff is down below. Link button, uh, like button, I should say, comments box, and also a link to subscribe to the channel. Four videos going up each and every week now. Make sure you don't miss any of those by clicking that link. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.